Linden wines any good? Like, are they any actually better than single varietal wines? And can you even taste what is inside the blend? Today we're gonna to find out we have six wines, three white, three red. We're gonna completely blind taste them. We're gonna have a stab at what is inside the blend and tell you whether or not it's any good. Let's check it out. Wine number one looks like nothing. Now, immediately, like, I'm thinking of blends around the world. This could be like Vino Verde um, or something like that, or Chacoli, um, famous, like, pale white blends. Well, it's typically speaking, when you put more than one thing in the same place, that's what these all are. I don't need to shoot an introduction. You know, it's been a while since we had a Sauvignon Blanc on the show, uh, and I kind of miss it a little bit. You know, it's fallen out of favor. Good to see it sort of crop back up here. And the inclusion of what I believe to be Sauvignon just kind of gives this sort of like lemon pithy lift to this sort of overtly sort of quite tropical fruited Sauvignon Blanc, giving it just a little bit more drive and a little bit more definition. It's very malic, very green. I'm gonna go, this is an SBS. Sav Sauvignon Blanc Semillon blend um, from Margaret River. Uh, I will have one bottle of this for $25. It's actually quite nice. It's like, it's, it's nice. What do they put in Passion Pop? <laughs> no, it's not. That's not what they put in Passion Pop, Lucky, and you know it. That said, a lot of people do get pregnant after drinking it. Um, <laughs> I reckon that's cheap as chips. I reckon that's 22 bucks. Uh, great wine, great wine, really. Uh, like 32 bucks a bottle would buy six. It, no, people love this stuff. People would absolutely love this. Um, but there is time and a place, I am not that person. Um, I'd rather drink Riesling. I'd rather drink Fiano. I'd rather drink a whole bunch of different varieties that kind of do something similar. <laughs> Pretty clear again. Once again, we'll do the whole ooh, paper, ooh, back in the room. Oh crap! It looks clear. Mmm, very toned down. Yeah, there's not there's not a lot aromatically going on here. So what we have to go from is we're obviously talking about great varieties that um, that don't really give a lot of color or have been sort of reductively handled. A little bit broader, a little bit riper. Um, palette's a little flatter. I'm gonna go SSB. So this is a semi on Sablonc. Riesling, Semillon, Semillon Riesling. Bing bang bong. <laughs> Six more of those, Semillon's more expensive, $34. Thank you mother for the rabbits. Wine number three. Honestly, this is like a real easy drinking, no thinking, no frills kind of wine. And a very good quality, like well-made wine, but there's nothing that's jumping out going, oh my God, it's this, oh my God, it's that. Could be, could have Fiano in it, could have Gruner in it. Um, really refreshing, really invigorating, beautiful, easy drinking. Um, I'm gonna get three bottles. I like this a lot more. Uh, I'm also gonna, oh, also gonna pay 25 bucks for it. That we're not having to pay 40, 50, 60 dollars a bottle for this. Like it is genuinely a wine that you kind of don't want to feel guilty about opening. <laughs> Richer white wine, got a bit of haze to it. It looks like it's been pretty well hands offed. Like good canned tuna, like that smells tasty, but like I need to write that down so the boys can tell me if I'm right or wrong. Canned tuna, so there's gotta be some Chardonnay in it. <coughs> Definitely doesn't taste like Chardonnay, it doesn't have the finish of Chardonnay. Honestly, the finish of like a, like a Marsan Roussan. I'm gonna hang my hat on a, like a, basically a, a white roan blend and Oh, I really like that. Love that broad texture, that, you know, like lovely almond marzipani nuttiness, that kind of tropical stone fruit character is really lovely. Rich bold palette, really delicious. It's insane how much that smells like fish. Definitely got Chardonnay. And it's got something nutty as well. What could be a nutty blend? <sighs> I've got in my head that Shannon's nutty, but I'm honestly not a huge fan. Like the oak is really quite overpowering here. Um, it is part of the style, especially this sort of like Condrieu sort of, um, sort of Rhone style things. Great fresh acid, really, really good. I'm gonna go 12. I really like this. I'm gonna go 12 if it's 35 bucks. Chardonnay Shannon. I'll have six of those as well. I reckon that'll be $42. Um, so I would, I, I I believe this is gonna be expensive, but I wouldn't personally pay more than like 25 bucks a bottle and I'd buy one bottle. I just, it's not, it's not the wine that makes my heart sing. All right, wine number four, red wine, lighter bodied. It smells yummy, dude. That smells like, I reckon this is Nero and Zabibo. I reckon this is fresh AF and I reckon we make it. Zabibo. Great. This is sort of the wonderment of a lot of blends out there, they feel you have the opportunity as a winemaker to be able to get different grape varieties into a blend that kind of fill it out. Like I always personally find that I have a much more sort of satisfying experience drinking blends because I know that there's almost like no excuse to have like a hollow like mid palate. Lovely structure, lovely tannin, really ripe and fresh. Yeah, I'm going Pinot Syrah here. 
Oh, fuck. It's not far off fresh. It still could be. It could be like last year's fresh AF. Yeah. Mean cheap because we can just throw all the shit together, shove it in a bottle. True. But when you start paying more for blends, they tend to be a bit more like artistic sort of expressions. I think that's really fun. Six per 30. If you're diluting it with Syrah, dilute the price as well. Because like, you know, we can't all drink Pinot Noir and, and like nowadays. So if you've got some Syrah in there, come on, bring down that price. I'll have a dozen and that's $28 because I sell that shit. Visit Unico's Hello website for more. Are hard to reconcile. And I think that's the hard thing for people is like they can't understand that you've got to pay more for blends because that it just makes sense. The motivation for winemakers uh, are, are so much greater when you're paying more for blends. But yum, fresh, red fruited blueberries, black cherry, really good fun, like mosaic of those kind of mixed berry characters. Really fun, lovely tannin, good acid, easy drinking, chill it down on a warmer day. It's got that kind of Beaujolais-ish feel. It ticks a lot of boxes, I really quite like it. <laughs> Fuck, this is the same color as fresh air. <laughs> oh no. Doesn't smell like it though. <laughs> um, it smells bad, dude, straight up. Um, Cabernet blend. Yeah, and underrated, underrated. Again, like Cabernet is like known for having a hollow mid palette. They often will call it like the donut grape variety where it's like big in the front, big in the back, but hollow in the middle. Still pale. Could be like GSM, but it, uh, or SGM. We could get down to this kind of thing. It could be MGS, SGM, SMG. Yeah, it's kind of like these wines are popular for a reason. And they've fallen out of favor. I think because of Cabernet, I think because they're old school, I think because we probably overdid them in the 90s. It smells like something that you could trap a possum. Like possums would be into this smell. You know what I mean? Like you put this shit in a cage, leave it up in the attic. Also, uh, I know that we keep referencing the American viewers, but apparently there's a lot of you. Like your possums fucking freak me out. Ours are all like cute and cuddly that make some weird noises. Yours are like Rah! Tannins type. Yeah, I feel like this is in that kind of uh, Rhone blend, but I don't think it's Grenache dominant. It's not plush enough, there's enough, there's too much tannin. Particular blend, you've gone the opposite way. I generally like it. I'm much more Grenache dominated here. Or just take out the S&M. Um, keep it G, G rated. Now less S&M, more G rated. Syrah, Grenache, Merlot. Three bottles, $39. <sighs> it's not natty, so it can't be 38. <laughs> And because uh, we are lacking a glassware sponsor here, we have a different glass. So please sponsor us. It's got that alpine herb, that structure, that juiciness, that savouriness, that kind of blackberryness. Tannin's lovely here. Um, feels Italian it, but like Oz Italian. Uh, I'm gonna go Neb Barb here. My hands have shrunk. Fuck yes. Oh my God, it smells like sandalwood. Uh, I would pay like 45 bucks a bottle for it and I'd buy 12. Uh, Nebbiolo Barbera blends four, Truffle Hound. Um, this one I think is a, a, a kind of similar example of that style of wine, but I really like the finesse of this particular wine. I think the structure is really good here. I once overpaid for an ex-girlfriend and I to go to like a spa day and this is what it smelled like. And oh, was that a nice day? But oh, did I eat badly the week after because I couldn't afford like vegetables. It's a nice, like it feels a bit from a cooler climate, a bit more of a restrained region because there's this nice kind of bright fresh fruit to it. $50, I reckon that is Pinot, Syrah, Pinot Noir, Huzzah, you know what I'm saying? All right, let's see what the other guys think. I will reserve my uh, answers to wine to line up until I defer to the other guys. I'm really keen to see whether I've pinned the tail on the donkey or not. Let's see what the other guys think. I'm gonna go three, four, 40, um, but I really like it. Um, there's a couple of really good ones in here, um, but yeah, let's see what the boys do. All right, the Humble Blend. The Humble Blend. Dude, always just gets overlooked. Nowhere on these, like. Really? <laughs> yeah, dude, I, I struggle to guess one grape rider, let alone picking like two, maybe three. This is, this is I, I walked into this and I was like, different job boys, you guys suck. And then I went into this and we're like, oh, okay, I'm, I'm in somewhere. I could, again, I could be entirely wrong, but I like, I had themes, like I figured kind of dialed in, it was good. Mm. Uh, I've had a, a couple of really good stabs here. I think you need to approach this with a decent amount of wine knowledge already, knowing what sort of typical blends are. Yep. Because mm -hmm. I don't think this is like a, a red herring situation. I don't no. think they're like trying to give us uh, blends that are really uncouth and really weird and really wacky. I think you say some, that some might be, some might be, yeah. but yeah. like, I don't know. I thought this was really cool and it was sort of good to reapproach blend. Yeah. Because often oh. blends are seen as being super cheap, but equally blends can be really artistic expressions from the winemaker that mm. kind of gives you a more holistic sort of experience experience in the wine. Yeah. I barely bought less than a half dozen. I liked all of these wines mm. a lot, mm. but like, I just, yeah, like, I don't, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, exactly. No, <laughs> I don't know, I'm man. with you, dude. I'm with you. All right, wine number one. Uh, what do we think? SBS. 100%. Fiano Chardonnay. Nude. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. why What's Chardonnay? SBS? <laughs> uh, seven, <laughs> Sav Blanc Semillon. Ah, yeah. uh, 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 Bordeaux white classic, but it's become very, very popular in Australia. And particularly around Margaret Rumor. Dude, that smells like passion pot. That's like, exactly right. Yeah. Sauvignon Blanc, baby. Sauvignon Blanc. Oh, dude, I, how did I not? It's passion fruit. We've talked about this. <laughs> ah! Oh, my God. Yeah, of course, it's bloody Sav B. Yeah, um, it was yeah. good. It was good. I was like uh, 32 bucks on it and buy six. I was one and 25. I I don't need Sauvignon Blanc that much. Um, 
unless yeah, this is not the kind of Sauvignon Blanc uh, that I'm super into every now and then, but mm. nah, not for me. Oh, uh, six and twenty-two. I thought it was gonna be cheap. I hope it's cheap because like that, like Sauvignon seems to make Sauvignon Blanc last better in the cellar. That makes sense. Mind. Like it, it does mature very well. They're very young example, very good example, but like yeah, it's it is really typical. Mm. Uh, what is it about? Pinot Blanc. Cool. Oh, really That's around. really cool. Pinot uh, Gris Sauvignon Blanc. Sylvaner and Riesling. Okay. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah. No. Screw you guys. Like, come on. <laughs> How are we supposed to guess that? All right. <laughs> was, everything that I just said before, wrong. <laughs> Pinot Gris, wrong. Sauvignon, Sauvignon, and yeah. Riesling. Pinot Gris, Sauvignon, Sylvana, and Riesling. That's oh, okay. what I said. I don't. Uh, yeah. What? Well, come on, man. Like, look, Rough. delicious wine, but so that's, tasty. That's cruel. That's yeah. cruel. That's cruel. <laughs> well, speaking of something that becomes even more cruel, this was the cruel wine for me. Uh, In... SSB? You're right. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep going. SSB. I literally, yeah, literally. Really? SSB, yeah. I thought, um, I don't know, something Italian. Yeah. Just an Italian mozza blend. Like, it's just like a bunch, like it was just one of those, it's textural, white, suave-ish, could be gucky, yeah, 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 could yeah. be fian, it could be. Semi on Riesling. Yeah, a good, different could I be. think that there is a difference and, and I'm sure I'm gonna put my foot in it because you know we we might know the winemakers really well, but like this strikes me more as a we've got a bunch of great varieties. Let's put it in a bottle. Yeah. And this was strike struck me as something that's much more intentional. Yeah. It's yeah. Like we're trying to make a thing. Let's go for that. Let's see what this happens. Yeah. Yeah. It could also be like a price. Like we're trying to make a thing, whereas we're trying to make a cheap wine. Yeah. Mm. Um, and for that reason, I said it was like twenty two bucks, and I'd buy six actually because um, I have a lot of mates that don't drink wine. Uh, that's and true. You, I and don't have a lot of mates that drink wine. If I did. I'd give him this. Yeah. yeah. And you can drink that with the windows, but yeah, it's fine. Yeah. Um, yeah, I was three for 25. I like this a little bit more than the first one, but I wasn't blowing my socks off, but I'll have some around. Yeah, six for 34. Semi on reason. Corey, oh, Grinny. Grinny. Pick a pool. Pick a pool. Yeah, so yeah, see, yeah, of course. Yeah, we you can definitely guess that. This is really typical of Grinny. Not Italian Pickle. either. So we're doing great. Yeah, good <laughs> stuff. Yeah. Um, I actually had this one on the weekend, or at least I had a taste of it. I went to Corel on the weekend. Um, and yeah, this is, uh, I like this because it gives a little bit of lightness to mm. Grenache Gris that just lacks any kind of acid. Mm. So yeah, Pickpool mm. does really well, but uh, I prefer Pickpool by itself. Pickpool by itself is elite. One. Uh, right. Cool. One, three. Now, okay. Uh, mm. One or one up for me. Wow. Yep. Okay. It smells like canned tuna, bro. Yeah. But canned tuna is a really interesting one. Like, yeah. Like, wow, I didn't really sort of. Yeah. Yeah, like, like a flavored canned tuna. Canned yeah, tuna. I see that. Yeah. <laughs> no, nah. I was in that kind of southern roni blend. Um, yep. Same. I like that kind of spice, that nuttiness, that texture. No, mm. I was into it. I, I, I was Marsan Roussan. Um, yeah, same kind of Marsan area. Roussan. This doesn't have Chardonnay in it. <laughs> Well, I think that's the red herring. I think like there's a lot of oak here, and I think maybe like it's it, yeah, Marsan Rusan, maybe Yangara playing around with some oak or you know what like, it specifically it's is? Yummy. It's the tuna that comes with like creamed corn. It is exactly that. It's man. actually that's, 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 that's red hot. That's red hot. I quite like it. I was twelve for thirty five. Wow, I was uh, one for twenty five. I was six I for forty two. Lucky. Wow. Is Ravensworth? Wow. Uh, this would be uh, Viognier or something. The granary. So Marsan Riesling, Marsan We'll take the points for that. Nah, you can we'll have that. Take the points for that. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, it's delicious. I really like this one. Uh, I'm really into Ravensworth. I think it, he does excellent gear out mm. in uh, Murray Bateman and Canberra surrounds. Mm. Um, Big fan. Very, very Big delicious. Uh, really good, fun textural white wine. Yeah. All right, number four. Uh, I thought this was the Australian. <laughs> That's what this wine is. I don't think it... he's right. Is he right? That's fresh AF. Shit, he's right. That's fresh AF. That's narrow Zabibo. That's, That's fucking right. That's twenty eight dollars, and I'll buy a dozen. I said it was a Grenache blend nah. of some sort, and I thought it was pretty good. I wanted to buy twelve of it and spend forty five bucks. Mm. But a... he's fucking right. It I was is a Pinot Sauvignon. That that is... mm. It's fresh AF. Shit, he's right. He's he's just called blind call. This is the it's first time you've called. It's got right. a bit more tannin than I yeah, generally does. see. Yeah, I know. Uh, yeah, it could be last year's vintage. I don't know, man. Maybe. Ah. Uh, last okay. Year's okay. Year's okay. Well, let's see. Let's see how we're doing. I think that's a. I think that's such an accurate shout. That's amazing. Well, I wanted twelve. Yeah. Um, same. Forty-five bucks. I was just spending for it. Well, was, I'll sell it to you for forty-five. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was six and thirty. Yum. Yeah, All right. right. How much was it, Lockie? Oh. Uh, Bonda. Bullshit, uh, what? Yeah, good Grenache. Wow. Really good Grenache. Uh, McLaren Vale, those kind of clay soils. Henry's, Henry's, rich and Henry's, Henry's day is yet to come. Mm. Is yet to also, it if you coming. want this, I can sell it to you for $4 cheaper a bottle. <laughs> <laughs> we make this one. Wow, um, it smells yeah, so no, Bond, much Bondar, 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 I also went to Bondar on the weekend. 
Um, yes. I was at, clearly in McLaren Vale. Um, yeah, yeah, very delicious wines. Yeah, um, this is you know a good little table blend. Like fuck yeah. Yeah, how, it's how, how, how can you not want that? Yeah. No, it's delicious. I I'll be honest. Like I I bought dozens of all of these for yeah, cool. various reasons. Um, Cabernet blend. Uh, I was MSG. Ah. Is that Merlot Syrah Grenache? Uh, I was, uh, it's actually Mavera, Mavera, Mavera. or Matara. Damn it, uh, because Sorry I just, Grenache. I guessed SGM. Same game, multi. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, I went mono, I went monosodium glutamate, um, but yeah, no, we're all there. Uh, I thought it was Capturaz, uh, mm. and I was like really, really into that. Are you sure with that colour? Yeah. I thought yeah. it was. I thought it was. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yep. Um, but yeah, I was. I liked it. But it was a bit too savoury for me. Uh, two for thirty for me. I Ooh, could rough. like it, but it's just a little bit lighter. Yeah. Same. Three for thirty-nine. Uh, Twelve thirty-eight. Merlot. Merlot. Capronk. You were close. I got Merlot. Yeah. You were. You were. You were Bordeaux. You were. Yeah. In there. On the cusp. On the um, cusp. Cusping. Um, and now, now this. You got Merlot right too. I got Merlot right. Yeah. This is my Shiraz Pinot. Oh, this is Nebbiolo by this is, That's what I called! You called this Shiraz I, Pinot? Sh Shiraz Pinot. Jesus. No, I, I dead set reckon this is Hunter Valley Shiraz Pinot. I, I was, I thought this was a bit more Italian. I thought it was a bit more like savory, alpine, herby. I went uh, Nebbia, Nebbiolo Barbera. Mm. Um, but not from us, not from us. Well, considering yeah. our strike rates. <laughs> yeah, shit. <laughs> this, I mean, come on. Like this is like, close this is, like this and this are the only ones that are actually typical. Yeah, I mean, like this kind of, but it's like left of center. But like you know, like it's we're, we're shooting, we're shooting fish in the dark. Like, I come do on, like that we're spear fishing with a toothpick here. Like <laughs> it is just really challenging. Um, <laughs> All right, well, I wanted twelve, uh, forty-five bucks. I wanted to spend for it. I wanted twelve for fifty. I was three and forty. Ooh, what do we got? Oh, Shiraz Vignon. Yo, yeah, Shiraz Vignon. Nice. What's beyond you? Well, it's actually in this. It's uh, the middle. It's a it's a Rhone <laughs> Valley grape variety. So traditionally in the northern Rhone, when they make Syrah um, in a place called Co Roti, they mm -hmm. co ferment Viognier in Shiraz, while like we do with uh, Zabibo and Nero Dabla. Cool. They do it the same way, but then they age it for a long period of time on skins and oak, and it gives a little bit of freshness to the wine. This is one of Australia's yeah. great wines, like one of our iconic. I think it's like Langton's classified exceptional. That's only like one of twenty wines in the country, and this. I think we're probably appreciating this a little bit too young yeah, and without yeah, context. Yeah. And without context, it looks a little bit weird. But, but so it's only 5% Vignogne. Yeah. Yep. yep. Wow. Tiny yep. amount, just co ferment it. It's tasty, man. And, and funnily enough, makes the wine darker. Putting putting white grapes, 5% white grapes into a red ferment makes it darker, not lighter. Mm. That is weird. But yeah, that, that Alpine herb prettiness mm. really does. Um, kind of lift the wine pretty interestingly and kind of takes it out of being Syrah. It's so wild. So, can we taste blends? No, oh yeah, they taste um, yummy, but I don't know what they are. <laughs> <laughs> are they better than single variety wines? Sometimes, absolutely. Sometimes, yeah. I think they're better, but not as cool. Mm. I disagree. I, I mean, I think they both can be equally cool. But they're making, like, they're making it cool. Like some of these wines are, these, yeah, okay. There's some, some that maybe aren't so interesting and intense and fascinating and vibrant, but that's, Fine. Some of the most expensive wines in the world. That's cool. That's all I'll say. 100%. Yeah, yeah. Wine lineup. Um, I really loved that granary. Um, uh, that was that was for me. Um, you guys loved this, didn't you? We're big well, fans, yeah. Right? I thought we made it, so I was trying to make up for calling uh, sea foam <laughs> shit the other um, week. I really enjoyed this. Well, I was half a dozen on this, so probably a democracy okay. gets us democracy there. manifest. Uh, dozens there, dozens there. I had six of your thing there. I'm not fast. I had one. Yeah. Okay, well it's... Yeah, Junto yeah. is the winner. Um, Wanda! It was also Wanda 32 winner, bucks, yeah. which is nice and cheap. I mean, and of course the GSM. Right? I'm glad you, I'm glad, okay, you know what, you know what, look, you actually did the wine of service by putting it in the proper Syrah glass as well. Like, <laughs> it is, give, put some respect on this fucking thing's name, yeah, honestly. They're the same. <laughs> I'm just saying, they're the same. Guys, thank you so much for chiming in. Hopefully that is clear as mud for everyone. Yeah, yeah, now you know how to taste blends like a pro. <laughs> Catch you soon, Bye. see you next week. Bye.